Previously on Brookside. You know, it doesn't matter who the father is. I'm gonna lose it, aren't I? You definitely want this baby. Do you ever worry about Max? I mean, he has had a pretty checkered love life in the past, hasn't he? Yeah, it's been checkers all right. We are gonna be all right, aren't we? I was checking up in the books last night. Uh, the books? And they all say that you should start to feel the baby kick at 18 weeks. Yeah, well, you've got your scan tomorrow. That should help put your mind at rest. But 20 weeks? Look, I've already told you, stop worrying about every little thing it says in the books, will you? It also says that if you don't feel a movement in a 24-hour period, then you should see your GP. Yeah, well, your GP is telling you stop worrying. The baby will be kicking, you just won't recognise the feeling yet, that's all. I don't feel anything at all. Yeah, I'm fully aware of that. There's a card over there from, from the shop saying that all the nursery stuff's in. Would you be able to call into town? What, today? Oh, I'll go then. No, it's, it's just that now I'm a partner. Yeah, time for the gym, though. All right, I'll go. I just said I'll go. No, no, it's fine. I'll go after work. I'll go. Honestly, I shouldn't have even mentioned it. I really don't mind. I'll go! All right, I'll see you later, then. I love you. Love you. Basically, it wasn't working anymore. I thought you and Jimmy got on dead well. Well, with me final exams coming up, the three of us living all together in that house, I just I feel a bit more comfortable, you know, back in the bungalow. Mm, peace and quiet. You're only cross the road, aren't you? Jimmy will be over every chance he gets. I think he knows to stay clean for a while. Maybe Nan's not charging you over the odds. My Nan, fleecing me for every penny as ever. Well, someone's got to pay for them to sit by the pool all day. How are you, anyway? Not long to go now, eh? Four weeks. Oh, I bet you can't wait. Oh, ah, yeah. All that unendurable pain can't come quick enough for me. <laughs> Your mum always said it was all right when she had me, you know. Mm. Well, she was lying. Never mind, it last about 12 or 13 hours. <laughs> oh, yeah, thanks, Jack. And one good thing, I might be able to park my fudge again once it's over. Oh, Casey. I'm serious. It's like squeezing out of a house like a go about once a week. No one tells you that, do they? Should tell them that in schools, teenage pregnancies will drop overnight. Once a week? Get a baby out to be a doddle after this. Yes, you don't mind opening up for us, do you? Oh, sorry, boss, I'm nearly back. 30 seconds, please. <laughs> see you later, Kate. Yeah, see you, Nick. So, when are you going to tell him? That's where I get too complicated. You meant to meet someone, fall in love, have a baby together, live happily ever after, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't sound that difficult, does it? Thank you. No, I'm just saying I haven't seen you here very often, that's all. Turning over a new leaf. Glad to hear it, mate. I mean, I know the food's free to you, but come on. Hey, that's muscle, eh? Yeah, well, you want to watch it, mate. An old fella like you with a young missus. Yeah, well, that's the way she likes it. Excuse me, a council membership over here, please. <laughs> Max was just telling me you found a buyer for your house. Oh, yeah. No chain either, so, uh, fingers crossed, she'll be in there within a few weeks. Oh, nice one. <laughs> Actually, you should drive over there this afternoon, make some plans. Got a couple of walls we need to knock through. Oh, I bet you got his thrill to hear about all this. You've been needing a bigger place yourself soon, haven't you? Little one along the way? Well, yeah, one step at a time, I think. Right, well, uh, better open the restaurant. Yeah. Got to pay the mortgage. See you later. Bye. See you, Max. Do you know what? I don't think I've ever seen anyone so happy about knocking a wall down before. <sighs> Tell me about it. That's all I've heard lately. You still not sure? Well, you keep saying that we're never going to move again. Sounds like we're going to a retirement home. But you're not spring chicken anymore, are you? Hey, I'm being serious. It's like we're ready for our pensions. I mean, what if I wanted to move abroad for a year or two? Or even go live in the countryside? You know, what then? 
Oh, I don't know. I mean, he hasn't even talked to me about stuff like that. It's like he just wants to lock me away with me knitting. I can see you doing that, definitely. Yeah, well, you've got it all to come when your little one's born. No more posh nights out for you and Gabby, mate. Yeah, like we have so much fun together as it is. <sighs> Things still no better at home. No. no. It seems all we talk about these days is the baby. If I'm not thinking about it every minute of the day, you know, like if I've got to work, for instance, then she gives me this look, you know, like I'm not pulling my weight. You just need to talk things through. Yeah, well, that's just it. You see, we don't talk about anything anymore, except which type of push you to buy. I really don't know what's going to happen there, Jack, you know? There's only so many times you can apologise, isn't there? Oh, they haven't had much fun lately, are we? No. I tell you what, you know, you and I should go off somewhere and have an absolutely brilliant time and leave Max and Gabby at home in the big house knitting. Yeah, just got some push chairs. Yeah. Hey, you might be on something, though. <laughs> See him. He's a patient. It's nice. How are you getting on? You know? Yeah. When did you first start feeling the baby kick? Oh, you don't want to worry. I asked the midwife when I was late and she said it just means the baby's comfy in there. She told me hers was the same and he turned out to be really happy and calm. Slept all nice as well. <sighs> See, that's just made me feel loads better. Why couldn't Gary just have said that? Because probably a pile of nonsense. Yeah, he's great at dispensing the medical wisdom, but... Excuse me. Oh, thanks. Anyway, can you, um, can you just tell him that I've got all the baby stuff in, in case there's any mix-up? Should have him lugging that lot round, I would if I was married. Yeah, well, you know, Gary, married to the job. I feel like a single mum half the time. Yeah, well, count your blessings, you know. Not many women have their own GP on call 24 hours a day, you know. Yeah, when this place isn't occupying his thoughts, which is about 23 hours a day. Still, it's easier with two of you. As far as I can see, he can't do enough for you. Yeah, it's a problem, isn't it? Not a bad one. What? Just sometimes you want to be left on your own, don't you? Yeah, well, next time you feel like that, just send him round to me because I'm on my own all the time lately. I thought you'd let him out the doghouse now. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I do want to forgive him, but when someone's betrayed you so badly, I just... I don't think I'm cut out for forgiving that. Maybe in time. But I haven't got time. I mean, I should be looking forward to the future. All I'm doing is worrying about it. Well, at least you've got this little fella. Yeah, best I'm gonna get, I suppose. Oh, it's not easy finding someone you can trust, is it, Katie? What are you doing? I think I've put on weight. Oh, Max, get away. No, 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 it was just something that someone said, that's all. Oh, nothing of you. Would it bother you if I did? Well, I don't want you getting lardy. Oh, well, thanks very much. Hey, listen, I don't mind your saggy bits. Sammy says you wanted me. Good news. We have a completion date. When? End of June. Well, that doesn't give us long to sort things out, does it? <laughs> Don't want to leave it any longer. <laughs> what if your father decides to gazump us again? As if. What's the matter? Oh, um, nothing. No, it's just a bit scary, isn't it? Look, I'm doing this for you. A big house and a nice area. It's just what you'd expect with a successful businesswoman like yourself. Yeah. I'm with mean, the four of us together. It's a lovely place for the children to grow up in. And, well, the extra rooms, we, um could use them. What? what? Who said anything about having more children? Uh, me, just then. Well, I thought you might have changed your mind, you know, after but, what... Max, I don't know if I'm ready for that. I mean, I haven't even thought about... Hey, well, let's start thinking. This is what you want, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Him up from the shops after work. But you knew I'd been. It's, no, it's nearly the same as this one. It's all right, doesn't matter if you've got two, does it? What a waste of money and time. Why did I have to bother going down if you were going to go yourself? Because that's what you told me to do. Oh, it just sums it all up. What? It's like you're working against me. That's complete rubbish. It's like you want what's in here, but you won't help me get there. What? Are you having a hormonal half hour? Is that it? <sighs> what is it, Gary? You're not going to do me any favours till I start doing you favours in the bedroom. What are you on about? It's you keeping me at arm's length. I'm just busy. Finding excuses not to be here, more like. Oh, God. You know, there is nothing I want more than for you and me to have this baby. Yeah, you want the baby. You're just pulling up with all the rest. This is absolutely pathetic. 
let's face it, the baby's the only thing that's holding us together. No, it's not. Oh, don't kid yourself. It's not. Not for me, it isn't anywhere. Is that what you think? Well, I thought that was the whole point of having it. What? We're making things work, aren't we? Oh, I don't know, Gary. I mean, it works when we're talking about the baby, just, and that's it. Well, I want it to work. I thought you did too, not that you've been showing it lately. What you want is the life that your dad wants you to have. Here we go. You know, the practice, the wife, the kids, the whole setup. You're not bothered about me. You never do anything to support me. What are you on about? I do loads to support you. What have I been doing tonight? Scoring points is what you were doing. Oh, oh come on, this is stupid. I am trying so hard to make this work, but it's, it's you refusing to let me make up. That's what's doing us the damage. I just want to forget what's happened and look to the future, but you're not letting me. And how long is that going to go on for, eh? Until the baby's born afterwards? Because that's going to be fun, isn't it? I mean, this is supposed to be a happy time. Come on, Gabs. The baby just kicked. What? He just kicked. I felt it. You said he. <laughs> yeah, I did, didn't I? Oh, this is really going to happen, Gary. I know. We've got to sort things out between us. I don't want us to be having a baby when we're falling apart. But we are. Do you have any psychological? You may be so tied up in it, you know, keeping it all in, pent up, do you think? <laughs> Casey, I don't know. I didn't read Freud's book on having one stuck sideways. I'm not going to tell him, Jack. It's going to be heartbroken if it's not the dad. Yeah, but it might be. I should have told him from the start. Duh, yes. I didn't know I was going to like him so much then. It was the baby that brought us back together. If telling it could be someone else's, it'll blow us apart again. Do you feel happy now? You know he's doing okay? Yeah, a bit. Scary though, isn't it? Yeah. I can barely cope with running our own lives. You called him a he as well. You can tell by the scan, can't you? I'm sorry. I really am sorry. Oh, little boy. Just what you wanted. I don't care what we have, just so long as we're happy, Caps. Me too. You know, because of this little guy as well, you've got absolutely no chance of getting rid of me now. Don't want to. We're going to have to rely on each other. I'm trying, Gary. I'm so terrified of doing this without you. I'm really trying. Let's just be happy. But how hard can it be to be happy, eh? Hello. Hi, Max. Oh, I need the vendor's form for the solicitor. Yeah, well, I'll get it later. I'm a bit busy now. You said you'd bring it back last night. It'll only take a couple of minutes. Well, I'll bring it tonight. You're holding things up. Oh, Max, it's only a day. Hey, what's with the bad mood? Still trying to get the train out the tunnel. Uh, thanks for telling him. You'll bring it back tonight, won't you? I won't forget. Good. I'll see you later. Um, get something to give you a fright. That'll shift it. Yeah, look at your face. It's way. Do you know what? I use my dad sometimes. Well, that's nice to see the passion hasn't gone out of your relationship with your pillow talk about my toilet problems. Do you know what? I, I did leave these forms here on papers. I do want to hold things up. What, you don't want to move? Oh, Casey, I don't know. I mean, I do, but I just don't want to be getting ill before my time. Do you know, I'm not even 30 and I feel like my whole life's mapped out ahead of me. Where's the fun, eh? I thought you were happy. Oh, Casey, I'm bored. I'm boring. Do you know, I want to do something mad with my life before I settle down forever. You know, like, get off my head in a club or go on a mad sun and sex holiday. <laughs> Make a bungee jumping. Or do something to Leanne Parr that I get arrested for. Or get drunk and go round to the Gordons and pop both of those lads' cherries. Jack! Oh, I know. Just, well, anything. Something that I can look back on, something that's going to make me smile. No, the trouble with that stuff is you might not be able to go back to what you're at. But I just don't know how else I'm meant to cope with the next 40 years. I'll tell you about those. Well, you've got to be prepared. Shall I tell you how it's going to be? You and me are going to 
be the best mum and dad ever. And this little fella in here, he's probably going to get sport rotten. I won't be able to help it. Because every time I look at him, I'm going to see you. You better not get your looks. Or your brains. Oh, ha, ha. <laughs> Do you know what else I'm looking forward to? I'm reading to him. Yeah, bedtime stories and all that. And I'm going to teach him how to play the guitar early so that he's good at it. I'm looking forward to the three of us just, just being together. And doing stupid things again, you know, going on holidays. Maybe moving to a bigger house. A proper family home. We could have a really big garden. And pets. We could have dogs. <laughs> and we could be happy there. You'll be happy there. to try all the new tricks you learnt. Sorry. You put it up again. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to. Come on, come here. No! You're never going to let this go, are you? Gary! You're just going to throw it back at me again and again and again. And it doesn't matter what I do, it doesn't matter how many times I apologise, you're never going to forgive me, are you? What's the point? Really, what is the point? Will you just come back into bed? I made a stupid, stupid mistake. I know I did. But I, I honestly thought if we could get through this, then we would be stronger. But you won't let that happen, will you? And I tell you, Gabby, I'm not joking. I've had it up to here. Because I have tried everything. I've tried so hard, but all you want to do is punish me. That's it, then, isn't it? Gary? No, yeah, that's it. Gary? Try so hard, Gabs. All I wanted to do was get you back. Can we just talk about it? Please come back. No, there's no point, really, is there? I mean, we're never going to be a family. Just forget it. Nothing. Oh, what's happened? <laughs> Nothing's happened. I'm fine. Oh, come on. Something must have happened. Where are you going? I don't, I don't know. I'm just driving. I just need to get away. Oh, you are not driving. Not in this state. Uh, Jackie, just come let me here. go. Give let me, me go. Just give me your keys. I'm not letting you drive like this. You might hurt yourself. <laughs> hey, come on. Oh, what's happened? <laughs> it's me and Gabby. <laughs> We're finished. She just doesn't want to know me anymore. You finished. I've tried and tried, but I mean, what's the point? What's the point? I can't. Come on. Listen, why don't we go inside and you can tell me properly, eh? Come on. I just told her it was all over. You told her? Yeah. What's the point of carrying on? I mean... She's never going to let me make amends for Nisha, is she? She just won't let me. It doesn't matter how hard I try. But you've got the baby coming. I know. <laughs> you know, I had this, um, this picture in my head of how it's going to be. That's not going to happen now, is it? I'm never going to see him. I'm just going to be a Sunday dad. No, you're not. It's such a mess, Jackie. <gasps> I've let everyone down. <laughs> My mum and dad aren't going to understand it. They're just going to be so <laughs> disappointed in me. My dad's always disappointed in me anyway. No, I don't believe that. <laughs> and Gabby. <laughs> you know, the thing is, I know it's my fault. And I can't blame her, but she doesn't even want to come near me now. She'll change her mind. Do you know what? She's just being silly. She's just being dead silly. I'm sorry. Hey, don't be so 
Sorry. Come on, you let it all out. Sorry. You let it all out. Something. I don't know now. It sounded like someone at the door. <laughs> Sorry. I should go. Oh. Sorry. No, honestly, it's fine. Don't you? I just I can't. No, look, I don't even know where I was. Just just forget it. It's fine. Yeah. I'm sorry. Sorry for losing my call before. Where have you been? Just been driving. Um, you know, I needed to calm down, so I just took off. Don't even know where I got to, really. Sorry. I shouldn't have gone off like that. I, I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have said all those things I said before, either. Just needed to be on my own, do some thinking. Driving? Yeah, yeah, I've just been driving. Look, do you think we can talk about this in the morning? I think we should both forget about tonight, really. Hello, Jackie Farnham speaking. You're not going in today? I thought I'd go in later. I didn't really sleep very well. Oh. Do you want me to write you a script? Oh, no thanks. I don't want pills. Katie said that chamomile tea worked for her. What are you looking for? Uh, my spare car keys. I've put the other ones down somewhere. I'm going to get on my rounds. Brilliant. You're a lifesaver. See you later. No doubt. Hello, you. Oh, yeah. I was just wondering if you were all right. 
What do you mean? Well, you were still in bed when I dropped the children off this morning when I got back. You're gone. Oh, I'm sorry, Max. You must think I'm a right moody mare, but I just felt like I had a brain ache when I woke up this morning. I couldn't face the chaos downstairs. Oh, phew. Good. It's not my fault, then. Well, now, why? No, I didn't think I'd done anything wrong, but sometimes when I do, I don't realise until after. Until I start slagging you off. Am I really that horrible? Not horrible. It gets scary sometimes. Oh, you sound like an old dragon. Not at all. Spirited woman. I wouldn't have you any other way. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Headache gone? It'll pass. Good. Well, early night for you tonight. Listen, I'd better get going because I've got to see somebody about replacing the dishwashers. Max. Yeah, what is it? Please don't think bad things about me, will you? I know I can be a bit of a cow sometimes. I don't think bad things about you. Well, only when you can't see the wood for the trees and you forget what the important things are. Like? Us, the children, the future. You mean the move? You've got to trust me on this one, Jackie. I'm right. It's the best for all of us, eh? Mm. Better go. See ya. What are you looking for? Be warned, she's in a foul mood. Why, what's up? Oh, she's bickering with Dr. Gary or anyone else who gets in her way. Oh. Do you know what? I finished the last of the milk this morning before she'd had her breakfast. You've never heard the legs. <sighs> what? See what I mean? <sighs> anyway, the Shane kid at school said he didn't have to start shaving until he'd gone all the way with the girl. After that, he had to shave every week. No way, that's rubbish, that is. Well, his mum's a nurse. She says doing it causes a, a surge of hormones or something. He's even got hairs on his belly. He's having you on. What would you know? Oldest virgin in town or what? Get lost. No. At least I've got a girl to help me. You've got a girlfriend? Since when? Since mind your own business. No, you're lying. There's no way you keep that quiet. Ah, don't believe me then. You never said nothing. Who is she? What's this to you? Well, oh, should if she was fit, you'd have a have it in the echo. Yeah, now you're jealous because I'm gonna get it and you're not. <laughs> Me jealous of you? Huh, <laughs> that's a good one. Oh, come on. We both know there's only one good reason why you keep quiet about having a girlfriend. Amita, you're embarrassed because your little brother's gonna show you up in the trouser department. Oh, come on, who is she? You know I'm gonna find those anyway. I'm not telling you anything, just forget about it. Bet she's a right wolf. Fat with big teeth and glasses. Cos you've got to be sure sighted to let you get you on down there. Holly, <laughs> I won't have you using disrespectful language like that. What did your dad say? You know he hated you talking smutty in the house. Exactly. I thought it was a bit bigger than that. I've just got to decide on a suitable place to scatter the ashes. It's a tribute to your dad, his life and what he meant to us. I read in this about this bloke who mixed his uh, girlfriend's ashes with some resin, turned it into a chess set. I didn't mean to say that out loud. Sorry. Well, show a bit of respect. There's your dad in there. Back where he belongs, watching over his family. I can tell you what it says. Give me a chance. Oh, look, to cut a long story short, it says that we can renew the tenancy on the flat into our names. But not only have we got to cover Nisha's share of the rent, but it's going up by 5%. Oh, that's... Well, it's too much. That's what it is. So unless Jackie and Dr Love doubles our wages, well, we've got to get someone else in or move out. Well, don't look at me. That's terrific. It's just what I need to be homeless when I'm just about to give birth. Yeah, well, we could advertise for another girl. There's a couple of young ones who come into the health club. They look like a good laugh. I'm sure moving in with a newborn baby is just what they need. Be a babysitter on tap. I don't need a babysitter. I'm going to be looking after my baby. And what's that supposed to mean? Well, that I don't intend to drop the baby, pull up my drawers and go nightclub and those days are over. So you're going to go all middle-aged on me like this one? Excuse me, but there's nothing wrong with settling down and being content with family life. Oh, right. So you're telling me you wouldn't hank after a bit of fun? Uh, no, actually, I'm very happy, thanks. Oh, well, it's going to be great, isn't it, living round here? You and Gabby full of baby farmers and Grandma Farnham in it and her bed socks. I mean, what am I going to do? 
Hang on, I thought the problem was making sure Casey has a home before the baby's born. Not whether you've got someone to go out on the pool with. Nicky Shadwick's looking for someone to share the bungalow. How about that for an idea? Oh, it'd be great to have you moved back on the close, like the old days. Except you'll have moved to Walton before we've even had a chance to change the sheets. Yeah, but I'm gone. I mean, we've had worse ideas. It'd be great to move back onto the close. And I bet that Nicky one likes a good night out. Yeah, but does she like being woken up at 4am by a hungry baby? Oh, come on. At least we could talk to her about it. Well, we've got to do something, that's for definite. Right, then. I'll go and see her. Tra. See ya. Casey, would you do us a favour? Um, can I give that to Gary? Oh, so I have to. He's such a knock. Is it important? Well, um, it's his car keys. He'll need them for his car. I didn't walk. Miserable sound, so I just dropped them in his mailbox. Right, then. I will. What are you doing Gary's car keys, anyway? Well, it's Gary's car keys. He left them at the health club. I would have brought them sooner, but... When did he leave them? What time? Um, yesterday afternoon, I think. What time did he leave them? What time did he leave? Well, I don't remember what time. I don't check people in and out. It's a health club, not a factory. Yeah, but you knew that they were Gary's keys and, and not somebody else's. Yeah, well, it's not the first time he's left them there. I have seen them before. Uh, so there have been other times, have there? Well, how many other times exactly? Well, I don't know. Look, you've got his keys back now. Tell him to be a bit more careful next time. Next time? I mean, next time he leaves his keys somewhere, he can get them himself. Oh, great. Where'd you find those? Don't you dare pretend you don't know where they were. What are you on about? They were at the health club where you left them after you finished getting it on with Jackie Farnham. You what? You heard. You must think I'm really stupid. You must be if you think I'd do something like that. You told me that you went driving, but you can't have shifted from outside, not once. You lied to me. You said you were finished lying to me. OK. I did mean to go for a drive. I swear I did. But I was upset. Jackie made me a coffee and let me cry on her shoulder and that's it. Yeah, I bet she did. Did you tell her what a bitch I've been? Hmm? Did you tell her how you're not getting any? Did you tell her that? I didn't tell her anything. Other than the fact that we'd had a row and that I didn't think you'd ever forgive me for the Nisha episode. <laughs> episode? Is that what it was? An episode? Oh, great. That, that does sound a lot better than affair, betrayal, deceit, doesn't it? OK, so, so if, if you're not having an episode with Jackie, if it's all so innocent, why did you have to lie to me, hmm? Why did you tell me that you were out in the car when all the time you were with her? Because I knew you'd be like this. You overreact every single time there's a woman involved, especially you, Jackie. Yeah, well, is it any wonder? You're a serial adulterer and, and an habitual liar. That's not fair. I had one relationship. One that got found out, you mean? No, I had one very meaningful relationship. So it was meaningful now. That's not what you said before. You said it was sordid. Of course it was meaningful. Not as shallow as you think I am, you know. It's just a different story every time with you. How am I supposed to believe a word you say? Because I'm not the type of person to go around having affairs every five minutes. You know that. No, I don't. I thought I did, but you've proved me wrong. Nisha is one thing. But I won't have you accuse me of sleeping with all and sundry. It's not fair. You won't have it. Who the hell do you think you are? Look! Look, I chose to be with you. I swore I'd never let you down again, and I meant it. Gabby, we are having a child. Yeah. A child you didn't even want. Yeah, yes, I do. Of course I want it. I want it more than anything else. Yeah, you want it now, because it fits in with your whole new image. The trouble is, you can't keep it in your pants, can you, Gary? You know what? I'd really like you to believe that, because I tell you, if there's one thing that's going to ruin this marriage, it's your inability to trust me, and that's all. Where do you think you're going? Out. Gary have been up to? 
do you mean? You haven't been up to anything. What's he been saying? Oh, you're all right. Lover boy hasn't let the cat out of the bag. He's still sticking to the story. What story? I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm on about you getting private care from Dr. Parr. Now, will you just keep your voice down? That is Gary Parr, my husband and philanderer of this parish. Gabby? So what's it like being second best? Honey, I wouldn't know. I only aspire to being second best. I'm third in line to a nurse who'll sleep with anything in trousers. And you? I mean, what was he thinking? He must have fancied a bit of rough. You don't stop this now. I'm going to phone Gary. I'm going to tell him to come and get you. Oh, so you're going to call him? Strict with him, are you? Is that it? Is, is that what he wants? Some strong woman to come and save him from facing up to his nasty grown-up responsibilities. Is that, is that what it is? is? Is that why he does it? Because I need him or, or, or I lean on him too much, is that it? Look, I am sorry that you and Gary are having your difficulties. And I'd like to think I could help, but... <laughs> You're being nice to me. God, haven't you even got the wit to pretend to be outraged? Oh, no, of course not. You're a Dixon, aren't you? Yeah. You know all about self-preservation, don't you? Keep your head down, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, well, not all of us like making a public show of ourselves. So why don't you just go and sort yourself out and then go home and sort out your marriage? Oh, no. You wouldn't dream of making a public show of yourself, would you? You prefer an exclusive audience. So where was it? In the pool? In the gym? On a sunbed? You listen to me. I don't know where you're getting this idea from that something's going on between me and Gary. But it is not true. It's all in your... All in my mind. Is that what you want me to think? That all these maternal hormones are making me paranoid? Well, what if I told you that Gary's already told me you've been sleeping together? That he's confessed everything to me? Then I'd say you are lying. Because there's nothing to confess. I'll make the pair of you sorry, I swear. But I hope it was worth it. Not one more argument. I want you to play nicely so I can tidy up for when Mummy comes home. I had it with him this time, that's it. What? What is the matter? Can I get you a drink or anything? Oh, for pity's sake, Max, something's in the light. I haven't come here for drinks. <laughs> Why have you come round? I mean, you, you look a bit upset. I've come to tell you that. Gary's up to his old tricks again. Oh, no, Nisha. No, not Nisha. Someone else. This time she's married. With children. Surely not. I'm only here because we're friends. But of course we're friends. You can always talk to me. Uh, us. I mean, uh, we're here for you whenever you need us. You don't understand. She's the problem. I've come to see you, not her. It's her he's doing it with. <laughs> what are you talking about? Jackie! She's sleeping with Gary! Don't be ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. You've seen the way they are with one another. They flirt. We flirt. That's what we do. Yeah, it's what we do. I'm afraid they seem to have taken it one stage further. He was with her last night. They are friends. Like we are. Look, you can't go on like this. You've got to try and forgive Gary for Nisha and learn to trust him again. Otherwise, the pair of you, you don't stand a chance. You're not listening to me. She's sleeping with him. I know it. She's pulling the wool over your eyes. Look, it's one thing you two trying to make a mess of your lives. And, and believe me, I, I have my own opinions about that, especially with a baby on the way. But it's quite another. You coming in here trying to stir up trouble between me and Jackie. I'm not trying to stir up trouble. I'm trying to stop them making a fool out of you, like they're making a fool out of me. The only person making a fool out of you is yourself. Why won't you listen to me? You have to believe me. The only thing I have to believe is that Jackie loves me, and I've never doubted her. And I'm not going to start now just because of some pregnant woman paranoid fantasies. Why are you being like this? You know I wouldn't make this up. Go home. Talk to Gary. Just leave us out of it, because quite frankly, I've had his up to here with a pair of you recently. I really have. Just take your head out of the sand, Max. Your wife, my husband. Face up to it. Right, that's it. Come on. Take your poison somewhere else. I don't want to hear any more. Who you dare speak to me?
nothing's wrong. I'm, the children are fine. I'm fine. What well, makes you look awful? What is it? It's nothing. It's stupid. Look at the state of you. How can it be nothing? Well, take it from me, it is. Max, will you just tell me what is wrong? If I tell you, it doesn't mean I believe it. Believe what? Gabby came round earlier. You won't believe some of the things she was saying. No, but well, what's she been saying? Why are you so upset? Look, in a way, I, I, I feel sorry for her. There's obviously something terribly wrong with her marriage, but... Max, will you just tell me what she says? She told me you and Gary are having an affair. She says what? Why would she say that? I don't know. Of course, it's not true, but it did have me rattled. It's not the sort of thing you expect to hear. How dare she come around here making accusations like that? Look, we have a, a good relationship, don't we? It's based off trust. And I know that I'm a little bit older, but I, I know that you appreciate my... Max, please tell me that you don't believe her. No, when she said it, no. It's ludicrous, the very idea that you would betray me. But? But then I remembered all those times that... I did just that. I betrayed the one I loved when... just because of lust. Oh, Max, don't. Well, it's not so ridiculous to believe that a, a young, beautiful woman like yourself would be attracted to someone your own age. It stands to reason. She would be tempted. It's just... I don't know what I'd do if Max, I... Max, you listen to me. I have never believed in anything more than I believe in us and our marriage in you, and I would never, never throw that away. And Gary? There's a friend who came to me for a shoulder to cry on, and I was there for him, like you were for Gabby when she needed you. Do you know what? I could kill that cow coming around here and upsetting you like this. It's not Gabby, it's me. I just hadn't admitted to myself how terrified I was of losing you, but I am terrified. Come on, Max, you know that I love the bones of you. I've been driving you nuts, haven't I? Just recently, what, with the move and everything else? I... But that's not a reason to rubbish everything, is it? It's a reason to put custard in your work shoes, maybe. <laughs> right, why don't you sit in front of the telly? I've just got to nip out and pick up some books from the bar. I'll be back before you know it, and then we'll eat, eh? What's your fancy? You. Only you. I mean to eat. Surprise me. Do you think he's still going to be sat there in his air while we have our tea? Oh, I hope not. Is that creepy? What if she decides to keep them? <laughs> Upstairs in bed and all that. No, sicko. We've got to admit, she was getting a bit chatty with him this morning. I thought she was going to ask him if he wanted a cup of tea. Oh, everything's just from a joke to you, isn't it? Not everything, but you are. Oh, shut it, Meth. I'm sick of listening to you. Well, oh, come on. How come you've never had a girlfriend ever? I mean, if you've not had a conversation with a girl. I said shut it, you sad little schoolie. No, I'll shut it for you. Hoo-hoo, <laughs> hit the source spot, have I? No, look, other girls who are mates. Just not your type. And what's my type? Anyone who's so desperate, they'll go to the 15-year-old schoolie. I, I can't help her if I've matured early. She's getting in before the rush starts. Just yeah. give it back, you filthy meth, and you better wash it first, you minger. I'll give you back when you tell me who she is. <laughs> Giving me your sack. Nancy, you spill. I'll get you back. I'll nick your mobile and shove us down the bar. Yeah, and I'll tell them about the website you went on with all those animals. Yeah, you do that, and you'll be waking up next to a pill full of ashes. Well, that isn't very funny. Uh, hi, Ron. It's Max. Uh, listen, I, I need to go out. I was wondering... Would, would you have the children? It'll only be for half an hour. Thanks. Thanks. Well, I can see you're in no fit state to have a proper conversation. But I just came round here to tell you to keep your poisonous lies to yourself. You just leave me and Max alone, right? Oh, you can lie as much as you like, but it doesn't stop it being true. I know you slept with Gary, and I'll tell anyone I please. I'm telling you to back off. I won't back off! You should have thought about who you were messing with before you decided to try and break up my marriage. Oh, come on. Your marriage is sinking without Trace all by itself. You don't need any help from me. That's not true. You're off your head. Look at you, imagining all sorts and having a psycho fit with your teddy. You need locking up. Oh, you make me sick looking down your nose at me, you cold-hearted cow. Do you know, I could have had Max any time I wanted. I'm just not like that. 
Well, that's not what he said. He said you were like any other bimbo on a plate to all takers. You liar! Max wouldn't say that about me. He's my friend! Yeah, and Gary's my friend. Talk about a hypocrite! The difference is, I haven't been sleeping with my friend. Yeah, and do you know why? Because Max wouldn't touch you with a barge pill, you neurotic little bitch. How do you know I haven't had him, eh? Oh, is that what this is? You're using Gary to get back at me because you think that I've been with Max. Why don't you just admit it? You're having sex with Gary! I am admitting nothing because this is not true, liar! Look at the state here! You know, shouting the odds like some sad old fishwife making a show of yourself. Haven't you got any self-respect? <laughs> <laughs> Are a saint. You gonna text him back then? Oh no. I never have text on a first date. <laughs> <laughs> Overrated and underway! Right, right. Ooh. Foot down, stepping at bargain hunter. Not so fast, Dickie. Oh, we're shooting. Now that really was the weakest link. Keep back up, have on this. Yeah. Who will win the race to be the number one celebrity whom you love to hate? Find out in 100 West Britons tonight at 8 on 4. What did you do? It was just an accident. What, what the hell was going on? It was here. It was an accident. Max, go get some help or something, will you? Max! No. No, don't try to move. We'll, we'll, we'll get help. The baby. The baby's hurt. It'll be fine. It's hurt. I can feel it. She's hurt my baby. <laughs> okay, then we'll see you next week. Excuse us a minute, Jack. Just gotta go somewhere. Where's Gary? Out on his rounds. Just things are finally moving in here at last. Gabby's just had an accident. What? She just fell downstairs. Well, is she okay? Well, I don't know. It wasn't that bad a fall, but it won't have damaged the baby, will it? Where is she? Just out there. We were both at the top of the stairs, but I didn't mean to. You were there. Well, don't look at me like that. And how did she fall? Casey, she was having a right go at me. She went to crack me one and... For what? What have you done? Nothing. Gary, can you head back in the second you get this, please? It's urgent. This is all about what you were telling me before, isn't it? <laughs> Look, um, why do you think there's something going on between Jackie and Gary? There just is. She says you're wrong. Oh, wake up. If if she says you're wrong, you're, you're wrong. I mean, you can't go accusing her just because somebody says that. Oh, she's lying. Don't kid yourself. I did for long enough, not anymore. Gary said anyway, it's all over. I don't know what's going on between you and Gary, but I, I just know that Jackie wouldn't. I mean, we're happy. We're, we're buying a house. We're happy. You're all right. The ambulance is on its way. If you've harmed my baby. Hey. Let's worry about you, eh? Was it hurt? We should do with a bit of space. Don't worry. Oh, Max, what if she's hurt? What hers? was going on? And what about the baby? What was going on? Well, I don't know. She just went off. No what? explanation. Oh, I don't want to talk. How could you let yourself get into that situation? Oh, Max, I didn't plan it. Did how could you let it happen again? I, every day I have to live with that memory. Don't you realise what could have happened? Max, it's not the same. It is the same. It's just the same. Hey, come on, it's all right. It's heavy. Why is she so sure that something was going on? I've told you, I don't know. Well, then why were you standing there fighting? No, not fighting. But what did she say that made you want to? She went to hit me. I've told you, I don't know why. Why are you giving me the third degree? Because I don't understand what angle this is all coming from or what got you so worked up that it made you want to push each other. It was an accident. You know, it's funny. I, I remember what Susanna and I were arguing about, and that was three years ago. Just the little things like fidelity and trust. That ring any bells? Oh, Max, please. 
I said the cremation's the official disposal of the body. After that, you can do what you like. Because I was thinking. This is about turning him into a chess set again. Oh, are you texting that girl? Well, I was thinking, you know, there was that place you used to always take us to when we were kids. When we used to visit the lakes, that waterfall where we went swimming that one time and saw the that family, family there. Well, we had to keep dead still. They were looking at us for about a minute. Yeah. Every year we used to have to go back, looking for deer, but we never saw any again. I was always dead disappointed. You just used to moan about going. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> I just thought, you know, if we scattered them in the water, well, he'd be there, wouldn't he? Next time the deer came. I hate seeing you like this. Oh, come on, Max. I know what you're thinking. That there's no smoke without fire and all that, but Gabby is wrong. Nothing happened. I wouldn't just throw it all away, would I? When you think of all the things that we've been through together. I'd come to pieces if I'd lost you. I still would. I know. And I wouldn't let it happen. Cos I've always been there for you, haven't I? Max, no one has ever made me feel needed the way you do. And I'm, I'm sorry if I forget sometimes. Hello? Sorry? Yeah, I just want to know what you were thinking, pushing a pregnant woman down the stairs. I mean, what, is it because I know you're back or what? Can you call me back later, please? Who is it? Look, I I'm not discussing this now. I mean, you carry on. Oh. I'm sorry. Was it private? Max, it's not what you think. Really? What is it then? Max, nothing happened. Did you want it to? Oh, man. This is like that 15 minutes on the cable channels at midnight for real. That's right, mate, 15. Ah, oh, no, you only need three. You won't tell her who it is, because she doesn't exist. It's Baz, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I'm writing this to Baz. You are fit. Ooh, Mr Silvertongue. I'll tell you what. I could ask if she's got a friend for you. Yeah, I'll just say, well, my brother's too sad to pull. He's still a virgin, even though he's older than me. Oh, yeah, he's a ginger. He might get in with someone on the sympathy vote. <laughs> Leave it. Let's see then. Giz it, giz it. Shannon. Who's hey, Shannon? I'm not messing. You are fit too. Oh, it's like Shakespeare, this mate. Biff. Come on, hey, Sharon. You know I'll find out. You don't know her. Oh, Sharon. Well, it's not the Sharon Olsen. No chance. She goes out to Lee Hammond and he's cock of the year. Just leave her, eh? Hey. Oh, Sharon. Sharon. Hang on, Sharon. Oh, not Sharon Stringer. Ah, ha, ha. Stringer the Minger. It is, isn't it? Oh, is that the best you can do? Oh, she'll go with anyone, eh? So what? Oh, she'll rather you than me. Oh, I don't want to go anywhere that Maggot Davies had is. Maggot's had her? Well, she didn't have enough of curry with the chips one day, so we lent her 50p. Half an hour later. Maggot's had her. Oh, it's disgusting the way you two talk about girls. It was only a laugh, Mum. It's not funny. I wonder if the pair of you can't get a girlfriend. You need to grow up first. How is she? They're keeping her in overnight. Blood pressure's up, but everything should be fine. And she was lucky. She was terrified she was going to lose that baby. We both were. The relief when we found out that everything was going to be OK, I can tell you. Yeah, but... Yeah, made me realise what I could have lost. Her yeah, too, I think. You know, it's a shame it took you so long. I'm sorry? Well, it can, can't it? And then it suddenly hits home that you've made this thing and it's happening, and until now, you've been carrying on the way you always do. So what you mean, Katie? We think with it being you, that wouldn't have happened. Just because I'm a doctor, it doesn't mean I don't make mistakes. Oh, yeah. I know that. <gasps> Max! Can't blame you, I suppose. He's younger. Oh, will you stop it? He's a good-looking bloke as well. <laughs> got a lot in common with him. This is stupid. Nothing happened. More in common than you've got with me, and you've told me enough times how much you fancy him. Yeah, well, I was joking. His name's come up quite a lot of times in conversation. Now, why is that? OK, Max, so he's an attractive guy, but that doesn't mean anything. And don't tell me you don't think the same about Gabby and God knows who else, probably. But it doesn't mean you're going to do anything about it. But you might do the next time or the time after that. I've just said. I don't know why I'm kidding myself. I I'm not getting any younger. Sooner or later, you're going to meet someone your own age, sweeps you off your feet, and then you'll be thinking, well, what am I doing with this old man? No, I won't. <laughs> all right. You know, we all have stupid fantasies sometimes, but 
That's all they are, isn't it? I mean, the reality is different. I don't want you having fantasies. It's why you have them. What's behind them? It, it means you're not happy. But I am happy. That's why you're reluctant to do this move. Well, who said I was... You avoid doing the paperwork. You don't like seeing the plans. You don't get excited about going to see the house. But that doesn't mean... But we both know you don't want to move. <sighs> I've realised that I've been trying to push you into it. I suppose it's... It's the future that I've wanted to have. Just us and the children, watching them grow up. Us two growing old together. <sighs> Probably my way of trying to hold on to you. Yeah, but you don't have to, because that's what I want as well. Yeah. Who are you trying to convince? You're right. Oh, you don't have to keep asking me every five minutes. I know they said that everything's fine, but you still need to take it easy, OK? Oh, yes, Doctor. <clears throat> Come on, I don't want to fight with you, Gabby. You were wrong about Jackie. I don't know how to persuade you of that fact, but I'm going to keep trying until I do. What's the point? Well, the point is I've had a taste of what it would be like if I lost you or the baby, and I didn't like it. And I realised that I hadn't been supporting you as well as I should. Or at all. When I saw what you'd done to that toy I bought you, I never wanted to hurt you that badly. I never will again, I promise. It's too late, Gary. You said it yourself, it's over. Are you just gonna keep on ignoring me? Okay. I don't know that I should fill in the pause, you know, and see if there's any news. I think you'd better leave it a few days. Do you remember the last time I was pregnant? I didn't realise how much I wanted it until I lost it, did I? Max, I don't want to lose you. You have considered it. But doesn't everyone think it sometimes? And that's the truth, isn't it? But most people aren't stupid enough to let the other pairs and find out. Oh, well, that's fine. Yeah, but it doesn't mean anything thinking stuff. It's what you do that counts. Out. It's just... Well, it's just scary. You know, buying the house and everything and having your future laid out for you and having to commit to it. You know, making any choice is scary in case you get it wrong and that's why I started... Thinking about another man. But moving to the new house and being with you, that is what I want. And I know that now. I mean, I always knew it. I just needed a reminder. You told me I never have to doubt you. And you don't. So is this, I don't have to doubt what you do or what you think? Because I didn't realise I had to differentiate. Hi, good morning. This is MSM. See you in the Mingus today. Shut it. Oh, she's such a moose, man. <laughs> Actually, I take that back. Insult to mooses. I tell you what, when you've got your end away, then you can have a pop, all right? Morning. Morning, man. Stuart, can you throw your dirty pee kit in the wash, please? Yeah. And your bed sheets as well. They're probably standing up straight by now. You what? All that wax in your surfboard. Mum? All those dates with Pamela Anderson and their five friends. Mum, shut up. What's up? Don't you like to hear me talking about it? Oh, are you, Mum? Well, I don't like the way you talk about it either. If you're not old enough to discuss it sensibly, you're not old enough to do it. I can discuss it, just not with me mum. Stuart, you're 15 years old. You're too young to be having sex. Why, yeah? The way you talk about it proves you're too young. Better wait until you legal age like me, little bro. And you and all. The pair of you do better to think about finding a nice girl and being friends first. You'll know when the time's right. It's a hundred times better when it means something. I know we never exactly sat you down and had the birds and the bees talk. And I know this would be better coming from your dad. But do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, yes ma'am. Don't rush into it. Don't let anybody make you feel that you're being left behind. Cos they're probably lying about having done it themselves anyway. Apart from anything else, you could get somebody pregnant. You could catch something. 
And trust me, doing it with somebody you hardly know, well, it'll be awkward and it'll be disappointing. For you and for her. Is that how you want your first time to be? No, no. ma'am. Yeah, Mum, right. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting five years so I can make love, baby. She was right about your sheets, though. <laughs> I don't accept it's over. It was over long ago. Just thank God that one of us finally had the courage to admit it. I just wish it had been me. I know it's going to take time, and I know that I was getting impatient. We're out of time. Look, I've been doing some thinking as well, and what's going to happen is, is this. I'm going to move out. I'll, I'll move somewhere near my mum's, probably, and that way I can have some help bringing up the baby. You'll still be able to see him. We'll, we'll just have to work something out. No, I, I don't want that. Well, sorry. If I don't think you do either. This baby is ours. We should be together as a family. Yeah, that's what I wanted. But it's not going to happen now. OK, yeah, we, we could just go plodding along like everything was all right, but... How long is that going to last? It will last this time. How long before you find yourself another Nisha or another Jackie? Nothing happened with Jackie. What do I have to say to convince you of that? Nothing. Gabs, I have learnt. I don't want any other woman. I just want you. All right. I... Complete honesty now. I don't have any secrets from you because I want this to work, OK? Yes, I saw Jackie the other night. Yes, I cried on her shoulder. Yes, it started to become something a little more. Oh, what? Gabby! <gasps> Gabby, she started kissing me. It was all her. Oh, just get out. No, I stopped her. I, I didn't want it to happen. I haven't done anything wrong. Gabby, I haven't done anything wrong. No, but you will. No, look, it's always been you. It's always going to be you. I wouldn't know where to begin without you. Please, Gabs, come on. Look, neither of us want this to be over, so why should it be, eh? Because it just is. Because sometimes, no matter how much you want it, you just have to accept that it doesn't work. And I'd rather accept it now and, and start bringing up this baby as I mean to go on without your help. I'm not having that. Well, that's how it's going to be. No, it's not. We should be together. And I'm not letting you take my baby away. Yeah, that's what this is really all about, isn't it? The baby and what people might think and what your daddy might think. No, it isn't. Yes, I'm bothered what he thinks. You know I am. I'm bothered because I'm the person that messes everything up, aren't I? I didn't do as well as he wanted at school, in sports, when I went to uni, when I qualified. I know I messed up every step of the way because he won't let me forget it. But the one thing in my life that I got right, the one thing in my life that I was proud of, was you. It's all about your dad. Everything you do. Not this. Just about you. Why do you think I wanted to have a baby with you in the first place? I've no idea. Well, I'll tell you, it's because, for some reason, I just can't seem to get away from you. We can't do without each other, you know that. And if I'm being completely honest, sometimes, yeah, sometimes uh, I wish I'd never met you. Maybe it was a mistake us getting together, you know. We're too alike for a start. Careers have everything. It's like we're competing with each other at times, isn't it? We're too stubborn, too flirtatious, too messed up. I mean, I, I could have met someone nice and straightforward, but instead, I had to fall for you, didn't I? I had to choose the one girl I'd never be able to get out of my system. And I'm scuppered now because how am I supposed to cope without you? I can't. It's a waste of time. Look, look at all the stuff we've been through. You know, it doesn't matter how bad things get, we always end up coming back to each other, don't we? We're stuck together, me and you. I love you, Gabby. What happened with Nisha was wrong. 
I know it is wrong, and it's fair enough that you haven't forgiven me, but I just feel that if we could just put this behind us, then we've really got a chance. But, and I've learned. What's the point in punishing me if you don't give me a chance to show that I've learned? That I've changed, eh? Now, I really don't know what the future holds. I can't promise you everything's going to be all right, because I just don't know, but all I do know is that we spent the last six months worrying about what's going to happen, and all we've done is spoil what is happening. So, why don't we just concentrate on being happy now? Worry about the future when we get there, eh? I'm leaving. Gosh. I'm sorry. You can't make it right. Gabby. Max. I think you've been waiting for this, haven't you? We're moving. I'm oh, nice one. So she thinks you're some kind of Dr. Alex Comfort. Who? Wrote that Jewish sex book Tom found in his mum and dad's bedroom. Yeah. Me and Baz only looked at the pictures. A bearded fella on the bed, gross. Maybe mum was right. Maybe you should be bricking it. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's probably not going to happen anyway, because we've got more to take it. <sighs> Tell me about it. We both had lost it long ago, I reckon, if we'd just had the chance. <sighs> well, I know, and then we wouldn't be stressing about it so much. Yeah. It was all right when I had that party here before we moved in. There were loads of birds. I'd have probably scored then if it hadn't been for that Ray fella getting grumpy because his cement mixer got knocked over. I bet that was the only cement that got tipped that night. <laughs> yeah, but the opportunity was there. All these birds smashed mad for it. Pity we haven't actually for another party. Like, for instance, my 17th birthday. Oh, yeah, man. Get a load of ale. Get someone to bring decks and the birds to come running. Yeah, I could bring Sharon. And the mates. Oh, yes, oh, Sam. I'll put my mum letters, will she? I'm not the mood she's in at the moment. I don't care, we're having it, with or without to say so. Hey, what about her? Older woman. Oh, too old. Anyway, she wouldn't even think about going out with us. You're not really going. A bit, my mum's. Please, Gabby. What else are you going to say? Good squeeze, you know. You're twisting me, Annabelle, words. is that all you wanted? No, I never. Pick a dad. Any dad. Sammy, will you shut up? I think you could. Why do people keep telling me to move on? I have a bit of time to think about it. Just forget it. Now, don't walk off. Tomorrow night, as always, Eve 4 is buzzing. Why? Because it's Second Chance Sunday. That means new friends and new ER from 9. Next up here, John Cleese is Captain Chaos. Time is not on this man's side and clockwise. Quality film comedy coming up. Previously on Brookside. Pulling them is one thing, but winning them over when they're miserable and messed up, it's, it's a different ballgame, Kate. I think of all the time we wasted, working all the hours God sends when we could have been together. There'll be a glint back in those little sad eyes. I'll make sure I am. The sooner we get on with our lives, the better.
Stuart! Stuart! Kirsty, go and get him out of bed. Stuart! Get up, you lazy little bell! You've got legs, use them. I am. You're walking right out that door. No, you're not going anywhere. Stuart! Why? Important business. You as well, Ruth. I'll be late for work. Do you just assume I'm going to pick Luke up after school? He's not so clingy with me these days. He seems a lot happier. So I feel okay leaving him with you. It's not the point. What about you, Kirst? <laughs> no way, I can't. Ali, don't talk to me like that. Are you drunk? Oh, it's about a few. What's going to do with you? No, no, no. Tomo, no. out. Hey, don't you be talking to him like that. Sorry, Mrs G. I know you've been having it rough. We've got private family stuff to sort out. All right, I get it. I'll leave you to it. Where's he going? Uh, slash, any care. Yeah, not in my room, you know. Ali! 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 Sorry, Dad. Didn't see you there. Hey, Katie was in good spirits this morning. I'd have thought there'd have been a few tears shed. Glenn. I can't believe it's two years again. She hasn't mentioned anything. Yeah, well, that's because she's moved on. Well, I was there for this time last year, and I'm here for it today. And many more years to come. <laughs> we'll see. Life goes on. Jackie, it's Gary. If you decide to ignore this message like all the others, I'll have to come to the health club to see you. We can meet privately or publicly. Your choice. This is well over the top. I'll give it to charity, then. Or the nearest offie, where it usually gets spent. <sighs> no way. How much is here? Where is this from? She does life insurance policy. The house is paid off, you get the rest. It's two and a half thousand each. Do I get a cut? Buzz. Scott Barry, what are you doing here? Some old turf me out. You slept there. Yeah, I left the party before you. Yeah? You went to a party on a school night. No point going into the savvy now. Scott, get out! Excuse me, Chief. Sorry, I didn't know you were having a seance. We're not. Crying out loud. Get lost. You okay, Stu? Just give us a minute, eh, Buzz? Yeah. Is this it? All the amounts, do. What it was worth. Got our memories. Yeah. And you'll live on to our memories. Every time I play a record on the set of decks, I'm gonna buy. A nice one, Stewie. Does this mean nothing to you? It does. I've always wanted decks. It's what he would have wanted me to have had. And besides, they'll be great for your party. What party? Well, tomorrow. For me 17th? No. I've done a phone round, that's loads of... No negotiation. Oh, Mum. This house is already a circus. Where are you gonna spend yours on, Mum? Nothing. I don't want a penny. Money can't bring him back. I'm getting a car. No, you're not. I'm 17. You'll pay for driving lessons first. Oh, cheers, Dad. Why can't I get them free from you? Oh, you ungrateful little blurt. Oh, you don't spend your cash on lessons. Shut up. You shut up. I thought this would bring us together. Do you know if I'd have seen us now? Knowing this one, my dad was teaching me to drive. I'd have saved every second. And me. And me. Instead of shouting and getting stroppy with him. You used to get all stressed at the wheel of me, you know. Never with me. Daddy's girl. No, I just let him smoke and promise not to tell you lot. I wonder he gave you so many lessons. You could put that away for Luke for when he's older. Yeah, he'd be really grateful for it, I'm sure. And I'm grateful too, you know, everything you've done for us. We're finally on the mend. I suppose this'll be a round-the-world ticket. I'm gonna make a go of it at uni. Oh, Kirsty, that's brilliant! It'll go towards me tuition fees. Oh, he'll be made up. I want him to be proud of me. He will be. Finally, one of his kids gets a decent education. Right, that's me. Yeah. It's a shame he can't be proud of all his kids. But you have to earn that. <laughs> earn that? I give up on you! When's Katie back from work? Lunch time. <laughs> what? What do you think of all of one? Hey? Sammy's idea, we've got photos of our nearest and dearest, present and past. Oh, yeah, nice one. Who's that? Oh, me dad. Gone, but not forgotten. Oh, he'd be over the moon if he knew he had another grandkid on the way. Oh, I wish I had more photos of my dad and our Jace. They all got wiped out, you know, the fire in here. 
Me, you and Kate. Sad cases or what? Oh. Must be something in the water. Those poor kids next door. Fire and Aidy's tried some things, but they got me and Katie together. I'd be an arsonist if it meant me meeting a decent fella. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's well looking forward to being a granddad. Uh, hey, hey, I'm going on that wall. Hey, you've got a lot more DIY to do before you get that privilege. Oh, how sad am I, eh? Family, mates. But where's my real love interest? Oh. Is Sean getting pride of place? Sammy! Sean who? Katie warned me you'd have trouble keeping your gob shut. Well, how's it going? Secretly. You know blonde Ruth who lives next door with the kid? Well, she works with Nikki and it's her husband. X! She makes it sound well seedy. Sean the satellite fella? Mm, good at erecting dishes, is he? I haven't found out yet. Oh, way I'll slow off the mark of you. <laughs> Ali, why don't you go out and do something useful with your miserable day? You're a waste of space. Oh, well, thanks for the confidence, build a room. Yeah, maybe we should. I can't stand it! All these and these, I can't cope! Well, what are they? There's junk mail, circulars for your dad. I right, don't rip them up, give them air, I'll get the addresses and notify them. Yeah, well, that stops them. Yeah, it's just, just spam. I'll close down his email accounts as well and tell everyone in his e address book. Should have done that ages ago. Not now, school! All right, I was only trying to help. All of you? Yeah, come on, Sue, let's go. Yeah, go on, get out now. Leave me and your dad in peace. Coming and going at all hours, treating the place like a pigsty. We should never have bought a four-bedroom house. It gives you too much incentive to take advantage. Where else would I stay? Oh, she's off it. Oh, you won't be so cocky when I move into a bed sit. Mum, you can't worry about me dad. There's stuffs everywhere. Exactly. Mum, it's too painful. You get shut of the house, you get shut of me dad. I want to get shut of you. Oh, likewise. Oh, don't you want a party then? Oh, why could you even let me? See you there, Mrs. G. Thanks for the butty. Sir. You blew for the party. I got carried away about me decks. I got to spend my money on the YMCA. No, she won't sell. But won't she? Oh, some 17 I'm gonna have. Oh. You okay? Just done with last night. So was Sharon Stringer by me. You never. Full horror show. The works. You did the nasty with Sharon the Minga Stringer. <laughs> it wasn't. You haven't. Wouldn't want to. Or like you'd get the chance with any bird. <sighs> I don't believe you. Stewie Gordon, he shoots. He scores! What happened? What was it like? Well, I can uh, only disclose that information to our non virgin members of the group. Anyone? No, only me. The whole school, however, will know of my uh, capabilities by now. How? Electronic mail, Basmond. Did the rounds this morning. Hey. Hey, is it true? Huh? About the minger having a wizard sleeve? Well, it depends what you've got to wear. Hide up the sleeves. <laughs> yeah, that's right, lads. Anyway, any chance of you strapping lads, helping a neighbour in distress? What? Moving in. I'm a bit busy, <laughs> like Nope. Oh, well, thanks a lot. I'll do the same for you one day. You lucky thing. A bungalow full of birds. Lucky. Grandma. Preggers plays pop. With that Nicky one. Not a patch on the sister, though. Well, like you, would have a chance with a dead or alive. Oh, shut it, will you? Ooh, can't stand the thought of your little brother becoming a man before you, eh? I'm going back. For World War Three. I need to get my head down. Fancy spending some cash? Tell you what, I'll leave you for five minutes and you're already bagging the boys. Eh, hey, trying to get some home help, more like. Has Nick not been open yet? Yeah, but mostly your stuff. Are you OK? Yeah. Bit of a funny. Not long now, hey? Work or D Day? Work? Go and put your feet up. What's wrong? I'm fine. Katie, you're not. You said you were feeling funny. I don't want you to worry. Why? Oof. Katie, what's the matter? Oh, it's just cramps. Katie, look, I don't want to worry you or anything, but I think your waters are broken. No, no. Come on, she's started. But, but she can't be. She's too early. She's not ready. I'm not ready. I'll have to drive. Where's my flipping keys? Get her on the sofa. She can't give birth, though. You've got to get to the hospital. Oh, are you stupid? Will you look at her? She can't go in your van with all the muck and tools everywhere. <sighs> yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. I'll we'll have to get an ambulance. Where's my mobile? Too late for that. Look, Katie, don't worry. Just remember, breathe. <sighs> yeah, yeah, just breathe. Breathe. Water, hot water now, and towels. I said get some towels. Where are they? Which box are they in? Like you've left your overnight box in the flat. Yes, we're going to need some forceps or something. Right, well, there's some sand tongs in the drawer. And a scourer. What? A scouring pad. Why? Oh, because it's going to get really messy. Oh, I can see the head! Oh! You've got to be choking, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I 
I'm going to kill you. My dad's got mail from Newbury Springs. Where? Route 66. Some trucker fella called Hank. Haven't heard from you in a while. My mum and dad were probably going to go and visit him on the anniversary trip. You meth. Oh, just as you can't take your ale. What are you doing drinking in your room during the day? How sad is that? Oh, shut it. My mum was right. You are a state. Leave it, eh? We're all going through it, you know. You don't have to get like this. I said leave it. Saddle. Saddle virgin. Ali. Ali, don't go out. Oh, I thought you wanted to get shut to me. I didn't mean it. Oh, please don't drink that. Oh, here we go. I know it seems like I've been getting on your case all the time. Seems? Just, your dad would hate to see you like this and... Oh, I'm just trying to fill his shoes. Well, he was my age once, you know. I bet he got up to all kinds. You're right, Jack the lad. They didn't call him Flash for nothing. Well, I thought that's cos he was here, there and everywhere with work, innit? I knew him from this nightclub, but from afar. He had a different girl on his arm every weekend. Then he finally chatted me up. I'd fancied him for ages, but I was too nervous to do anything about it. So that's how you got together? Well, I rejected him at first. I didn't want to be another notch on his bedpost. Oh, Mum! Well, well, it was my first time to be special. With someone special. So I tested him. We went on loads of dates, courted. I made him wait until I was sure that he was the one. And I could trust he wanted to be with me. So, you and me dad? Me dad was? It's the only man I've ever known, or ever will know. Kirsty takes after me. Thinks she's saving herself. Good honour. Should be special. Well, I think so anyway. Ruth's more like a dad. What about you? Well, what about me? The filthy mouths on you and your brother. Oh, uh, it's, it's just talk. I see. Well, you know, I think there's plenty of time for all that. Is that what my dad would tell me? No. Well, so? He's gone. I can't tell you what his opinion would be. But you know. You know what I think. Oh, well, what would my dad think? Oh, come on, Mum. Look, I'm going to write to know if you do. Mum. I worry. Well, he'd want me to enjoy myself. Of course, but without the ale. He'd want me to let me hair down. Within reason. Meet girls. Yeah. Have a party for my 17th. I just don't know if I could handle a house full of people. Well, you don't have to be here. What, and leave you to get up to all sorts? I don't think so. You do need it again. Come on, Mum. Dad'll want my birthday to go with a bang. Come on. Can I have the party? Well, I'll be keeping an eye on you. Yes. We both will. Hello, love. You look nice. Thanks. Time I'd like to change. There you go, Lukey. Hello, Mum. Hi, Luke. You've been a good boy. Don't take that in there. This is mostly your mess, you know. Days of it. Mm. That looks nice. Mm. Did you get that done? In my break. Been shopping. Well, I'm not paying rent, so I thought... This must have cost you a fortune. Any football as well, I can afford this shop. Well, why shouldn't I treat myself? With Dad's money? Some of it. How much? <laughs> it's none of your business. What about Luke? Well, you're spending on yourself. Why can't I? I haven't got kids. No, you've done things properly, haven't you, Kirst? You've been travelling, you're going to get a good education. You haven't wasted your time on dodgy fellas. Well done. Oh, no. Not today, thank you. What's a morning night, then? I suppose good squeeze, you know. What are you doing? I hope Luke is just having a chat. Oh, yeah. Is Luke ready? Yeah, he's waiting for you inside. Hi, oh, you do look great. He's not hassling you, is he, trying to flog you some satellite stuff? No, 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 no. He, um, he did do one for Jimmy ages ago, so we just, you know... Cos he can be a real pain sometimes. No, no, he was fine. I suppose he has been a bit better recently, especially since Dan left. Mm. Maybe I've been a bit hard on him. Is Luke OK with Dan gone? Never better, why? He must have got used to Dan, that's all. Yeah, well, fellas, come and go. How about you? Which? Is that policeman still hanging around? Matt? No. Chance would be a fine thing with anyone. I'm just stuck under a big pile of books and essays. Well, you stick at it. I dropped out because I met Sean and look what that got me. That's one thing I can blame him for, my lack of credentials. <laughs> It's 
Thinking Max isn't here, then? No. <laughs> what a surprise. Just say what you came to say, eh? Well, right here. You really have got no shame, have you? Yeah, I suppose you know that Gabby's gone. Where? Out of my life for good. Oh, right, and you're blaming me. Yeah, too right you're to blame. But well, you know what? I was gonna ask you in, but I don't think I'll bother now. Everything I had is gone. My wife, my baby, everything. Yeah, but the baby's okay, isn't it? No, thanks to you. Look, I didn't push Gabby down the stairs. You're the one who got her in that state in the first place. I did not. You did. You kissed me. She flipped out. Yeah, and you kissed me back. Yeah, but you initiated it, didn't you? Oh, ever heard of the word no? And anyway, you shouldn't have told her anything. Oh, right. Well, kept it a secret like Nisha and me. No, not like that. You, you're twisting me An words. An affair. Is that all you wanted? No, I never. And you know that if you're honest with yourself. I have been honest, and look where it's got me. If you'd have been honest with Gabby in the first place, she would never have walked. What's that supposed to mean, eh? Nisha, you said it. <sighs> that is why your wife's left you. No, it's not. It's because of you. It's because of you. You give off available signs and you act like you're single. And you gave me the green light. I'm not surprised Gabby doesn't trust you. <sighs> so, uh, you've told Max the full story, have you? He knows what he needs to know. And you two are fine? You're ticking along nicely? Yes, thanks. And it doesn't bother him that his wife was up for it with his mate? Look, we both had our eyes open. And we both know that anything more would have been a mistake. But I don't even know when I see it in you as a mate, never mind anything else. So you have told him? You've told him how you came on to me, how you couldn't wait to get out of your clothes and into mine? I love Max, and I would never do anything to hurt him. What, by telling him the truth? What are you trying to say? You have got everything I had. You want to make sure you can keep hold of it. So, will you come to me party? Suppose I can pop in for a bit, yeah? Where are you getting? Oh, I want a car. Oh, <laughs> with what? Well, two and a half grand. Dad's money came through. We all got the same. You daff, I want a car. Oh, I need my freedom, don't I? The less time I spend in this place, the better. Mum's doing me head in. What are you doing for lessons? Maybe I can help you with both. Oh, really? I'm the king of the road, me. You'll pass with the master, no problems. I don't really think that's your place, is it? Well, Alan can't help him, can he? You offered. Like I've had the time. Yeah, well, just as well. You're always a lousy driver. Hey, there's nothing wrong with my driving. What's yeah, she gonna do, eh? No way. Like, he's sober long enough to get in a car. Sorted, then. I will. Oh, that's boss, Sean. Want to have the cash? No. <laughs> Stop stressing, Luke. There's no hidden agenda. Can you keep Luke an extra night? I'd love to, but I'll be here. Why? Ali's party. He's having a party. Mum? What? Do you know about this party? Yeah. He can't. He can. All Alan's kids have a 17th. But the noise and what about Luke? I'm working on it. He's got nowhere to stay. <laughs> He'll be with his family. He'll be fine. Yeah, but... Now, so what's the problem? I don't think a party's a healthy environment for a five-year-old. <laughs> He'll be asleep when you stop stressing. Make sure he doesn't spend it down the pub. Right, I'll put some feelers out and have a way with steam on because he's good with the motors, isn't he? Oh, it's awesome. No problems, mate. Right, you look the bifters in a pink three-wheeler. <laughs> Come on, lad. You want to watch that blood pressure? <laughs> he's getting him a car, he's giving him driving lessons and he's coming to the party tonight. What's he trying to do? Help your brother? Party's on, dude. Great. What's that? Nothing. Well, let's have a look then. No, no, it's some of their truckers' website. My dad used to go on truckers' look. So show me. No. <laughs> Why have you gone red? <laughs> ah, it's from Shalaminga. <laughs> Stop it. Ah, they respond to Stuart Gordon's libellous email. I would like to take this opportunity to set the record straight. The aforementioned Stuart Gordon. Before he'd even got his kicks I off. Said, get lost. <laughs> ah, he shoots his scores. Ain't more like his scores. He shoots. Get lost. <laughs> Make me virgin. Yeah, well, that makes two of us, doesn't it? <laughs> the latter tomorrow night. Oh, yeah. Up for it, are you? Yeah. Who with? Anything in the skirt. Yeah, well, that makes me an all then. <laughs> you reckon? Yeah. In fact, I'd bet on it. How much? Two and a half grand. Dad's money. You're not sure of yourself? Yeah. Well, I would if I hadn't have spent it. The deck's coming tomorrow. See, you're backing down. No, no. A tenner. <sighs> Don't insult me. Fifty. Double it. Cock sure you're gonna win? Yep. Not. Right, a hundred. Suits me. Hang on. I wanna know you won't blag you. Well, the winner has to give some sort of proof, some kind of evidence. Oh. No, not that sort of evidence. I don't know, a bra or something. So, are you sure you don't need more time to think about it? No. Well, I wouldn't want you to make your mind up prematurely. <laughs> There's still plenty of stuff at the flat, you know. I'm on a break. Uh, will you be staying for your tea at the girls' residence? 
I'm staying the night with any luck. Oh, I wish you two would get your act together and admit that you're a fully-fledged couple. Uh, well, I'm not on the love wall yet, am I? Well, I am got a decent photo of you. Yeah, a likely story. Hey, you've heard the boy you cried wolf. If she goes into labour for real, I won't take any notice. That's cos you'll have fainted. <laughs> Did you like the water trick? Oh, yeah, dead funny, that one, it. <laughs> do you really mean you haven't got a decent photo of me? Yeah. It's got nothing to do with the fact you're being a commitment phobic. No. Or that you've got one foot stuck in the past. I'm concentrating on the future. Well, it's our future. Yeah, and the babies. Uh, don't forget the present. I mean, you should be enjoying every moment of this. Oh, yeah, you'd have to be a fella to say that. Well, I'm enjoying it. Well, that's because you're not sat here the size of a small country waiting to explode. There's part of me that can't wait for the birth, but there's another part of me that really likes seeing you like this. Oh, bloated? No, you're blooming. Bloom and bloated. Do you know when you think about it? It's a miracle how it starts, isn't it? No, Nick, that bit's easy. The miracle will be getting it out. It? Well, hey, him, whatever. So, I was right then. Enjoy this while you can. <laughs> hey, that kind of business could really bring the baby on. Oh, is there any need under me nose rubbing it in? Why is everyone hard at it except me? I'm trying to concentrate here. Sorry. What's that? Another E from the media? Reader. Flash, have you fallen out of me or something? When are we next going to have a few pints and put the world to rights? I'm not that bit there. Are you still knocking off that one in Barnsley? <laughs> what? Who's this from? It's my dad's I've never heard of. Well, when was it sent? Last week. Oh, it's going to be a joke. Yeah, but it doesn't look like it. Oh, come on, my dad would never do anything like that. Oh, wouldn't he? Well, then why does it say that, then? I don't know how you have the energy with hearing your debs. One's always been enough for me. But I wouldn't knock your Debbie back if she was gagging for it. I can't have been seeing someone else. Yeah. What do you mean? What are we gonna do? I don't know. We're gonna tell Mum? I don't know. We can't just keep it to ourselves. What about your party? What about it? You're still gonna have it? I don't see why he should spoil everything. Okay, you all right? Yeah, I'm just having a wee. My eighth, I think. No, ninth. Nine times in one night. Shouldn't you left for work? Yeah. I'll do some toast. Do you want me to wear any stuff? Nothing fits me. I'm coming now. <laughs> Mom? 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 Hello, love. Are you alright? Yeah, of course I am. You thinking about me, Dad? Yeah. Look at him here. Not a care in the world. How old were you when you got married? Twenty. Just a bit older than our Kirsty. We're just kids, really. Try not to be too sad about the moment. Well, I'll try. But it's hard, isn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna stay off today. You skiving, Carol. Hey, she's eight months pregnant. Go away. It's not an illness, you know. <laughs> you finishing next week, aren't you? See if they're gonna be bothered. Oh, to be honest, I'm past care. Oh, yeah, I'll turn them. Mind the bath? Of course I will. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. Would you mind running us a bath? What? Well, do you know, I worked right up until the day I had Louise. Yeah, and it took you three and a half years to get over it. I tell you what, Nick, Miss Confident here doesn't know what she's got coming. I'll be able to handle it. Yeah, you just keep telling yourself that. Oh, but then again, you'll have your Nick, won't you? To rub your back and massage your feet and tell you that he loves you every five minutes. Leave him alone. Do you know what? You two are a pair of bores with you fellas. Me and Sean are just mates. Oh, yeah. We are. Hasn't he got to first base yet? Taking things slowly. At this stage in the game, you should be ripping each other's clothes off. Well, not everyone drops the drawers on the first days. Oh, uh, listen to Mary Whitehouse here, in your condition. What's that supposed to mean? Eh, uh, pick a dad, any dad. Sammy, will you shut up? Oh, 
Oh, Nick's not going to wear me. I'm stressed enough about that already without you sticking your oar in. It was a joke. No, not a very funny one. Yeah, well, I always say you've got to snog a lot of frogs before you meet your prince. But then again, you'll know all about that, won't you, love? Go and blow your candles out. <laughs> 17. It doesn't look a day over 12. Just think your voice might break soon. <laughs> Take the notice. Your dad would be dead proud. Oh, of you. Do you have to keep going on about him? I'm sorry, I was just. Do you have to be so rude? She's got him on some pedestal. Ali, shut up. She's got every right. It was her husband. And when he felt like it. Hey, cheek. I can't use him for what he was. Ali, we didn't even know him. A party. What for? Oh, it's my brother's birthday. Oh, brilliant. Well, um, if it gets a bit noisy. Oh, we're not bothered about noise. In fact, we'll pop in for a drink. <laughs> It'll just be a load of 17 year olds. Well, even better. Sounds like my kind of dip. If you want to come, you're very welcome. Sound? Oh, I don't think I'll be going. I've got loads of work to get done, so. Oh, don't be a bore. Kate, don't look at me. Oh, Nick, have a word with her, will you? We'll be there. Great, well, see you later. So, um, Luke was okay then, yeah? You've asked me that. Have I? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. I can't get used to this. I was not arguing, I mean. Oh, that's good, though. Gives you one that's spoiled, yeah? Okay. How's Lizzie? She's okay. So I said hello, will you? Yeah. Oh, well. Lizzie, eh? Still not hankering after her, are you? Ah, she's the fling, eh? So you come in tonight? I don't know. I'm at least going to drop Ali's car off, like. Oh, he's got one sorted already. Amazingly, at this late stage, yeah, I've got to go and pick up Steve to Savvy. Oh, look, come tonight. It'll be a laugh. <laughs> what, watching a gang of six formers drink themselves stupid? No, it'll give us a chance to talk. What, me and you? No, about Luke, I mean. It's hard on no one to bounce off. No word from lover boy then? No. What happened? We just drifted apart. Oh, so he wasn't the love of your life after all, then? He was one of the many mistakes. No, I could have told you that. You did? I hope you find someone you really like. You changed your tune. Yeah, I finally came to my senses. I realised it was more to do with Dan than it was about you. How do you mean? Well, you know, Dan being your first and you going back to him and then telling me we should never have happened, I just felt like you were trying to rub me out like I never existed. Well, that could never be, could it? Not with Luke around. Well, I think it's great for Luke that we can still be mates. Yeah, better be off. Well, where are you going? I called for someone. I said I'd be there ten minutes ago, so... I'll see you later then, yeah? Yeah. Luke, I'm going. Hey, yeah. All right. You in for a bit? Yeah. Give us five minutes, all right? OK. The bed's still on, by the way. Yeah? Might do ten at once, following my dad's footsteps. Well, you reckon there were others? Probably. He was a liar. A dirty, scumbag liar. <sighs> Mr. Family Man. Mr. I want a better life for my kids. It was a lot of bull. All of it. Can't imagine him being with anyone else. And my mum's only ever been with him. Well, how'd you know that? She told me. Well, I think we should tell Kirsty and Ruth. Why? Because they should know. What difference does it make, eh? What are you two up to? Just reminiscing what we did. Um, I'll take that. You don't want to peek too soon. Get off. Ruth, do you, uh, do you ever think my dad slept around? No, why? Just wondering. He wasn't that sort of fella. Yeah, but he did spend a lot of time away. So was Dan. Ooh, and look what that top bloke he turned out to be. What is this? Why all the questions about my dad? We, uh, we think we've found something. Like what? Go on. You might as well tell him now. Where did you get this? Most people use a photo alarm. Yeah, I know. It's just a bit difficult. Oh, Ruth. Yeah? Look, all is sneaking around. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Well, if there's something between us, then just say. There's no. Then why do I have to keep pretending that we hardly know each other, then? Because of Luke. If she thinks I've met someone I'm really into, she might go all weird on me and stop me seeing him. I've just got to break it to her nice and gently. That's and all. Can't, can we just go back to that met someone I'm really into? Eh? You don't want to say that. You're a bit of a meth with you being a student, so not like... Hey! Well, you screw up a ball. Well, no, is that the best that you can do? Yeah. I think you're gorgeous. Taking things slowly? Who are you, trying to kid? <laughs> it wasn't like that. I'm telling you, you did it. 
Have you been drinking? Right off. This is ambiguous. In what way? You used to look at that one off in Barnsley. Seems pretty unequivocal to me. It could be someone's idea of a joke. Yeah, dead funny. I don't think we should let one email invalidate someone's whole life. But if he was having an affair. Hang on. Can we not just write him off? It's there in black and white. I think we need more proof than some vague note from an old mate. This is my dad we're talking about. My dad? The man who brought us up? The man who was carrying on with all kinds. You don't know that. OK, so how are we going to find out whether it's true or not? We can't. Of course we can. There must be for stuff around. Right, you check the bedroom. Papers, address books, letters, anything you can find. I'll have another look on the computer. What about me? You don't believe it, do you? I want to know the truth. Well, then sit with me, Mum, and make sure she doesn't suss out what we're doing. Something like this could really push her over the edge roof. You sure you don't want a bossy? Yeah, I've got to go and pick a car up with Steve for Ali's birthday. Oh, yeah, he's having a party, isn't he? Yeah, I'm going to show me face for an hour or two. Oh, so are we. Oh, you went, Gary. Didn't say that. I'll best go out the back way again. Okay. <laughs> See ya. See you later. Right, there you go, sis. Plain sandwich, no mayo, no pickle, no nothing. Oh, I can't believe it. Three weeks to go. No, no, flown by, isn't it? Is Nick going to go in with you? To the house, yeah, of course he is. My old dummy, into the delivery, you know, business end, cut the cord and all that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know whether it's a good idea. I mean, he'll never look at you down there in the same way again, you know. You all right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you haven't fallen out with Mr Perfect, have you? No. Well, good. Because you've landed on your feet there. I reckon. Too right. It's the best thing you ever did, letting him believe the kids is. Oh, lover boy gone, has he? Yeah. Well, you won't be able to slam all over him like that tonight, you know. You never know. Well, with his ex-wife next door watching, you've got no chance. Thanks, love. What are the others up to? The lads are sorting out CDs and records for the party tonight, and Kirsty? Don't know where she is. Your dad would love this, wouldn't he? Big party. Ali getting a car and learning to drive. This is when being a parent's supposed to pay off. After all those years of worrying and protecting them. These are milestones you gauge the rest of your life by. You still can, Mum. On my own. I wish you didn't miss him so much. Oh, so do I. When you've been with someone that long, it's it's hard just to get on with things without them. Have you... Did you ever look at other fellas while you were married to him? What kind of a question's that? I don't know, sort of things that go through your head. About me? No. You always think your parents are going to be around forever. And then when they're not, you start thinking of things you wish you asked them. And it's too late for my dad, but there are so many questions. Well, go on, ask me. Did you? Look at other fellas? No. So you were never attracted to anyone? Well, of course I was, but I never did anything about it. That's what marriage is. It's a promise to stay faithful. Oh, I'm sorry, love. I wasn't getting at you. What about my dad? He was a family man. You four meant everything to him. Look how devastated he was when you and Sean split up. Look how angry he was. He hung over the coals for seeing Dan. He was worried sick. You really can't see any bad in him, can you? Why should I? I want to remember the good times. Don't you think it's time you started to move on? I don't want to move on. Why do people keep telling me to move on? Don't take this the wrong way, but me and Kirsty were wondering if you should go back to the doctors. Why? You're hardly eating or sleeping. You're on another planet half the time. I'm fine. You're not yourself. Of course I'm not myself. I've just lost my husband of 25 years. Oh, Ali's right. You've got him on some sort of pedestal. Well, what's wrong with that? You're making him out to be a saint. He was just as weak as the rest of us. Do you think I don't know that? I'm just wondering if he's worth all this grief. He's worth it to me. Hey, uh, have you been? Just out. What are you up to? Oh, I was trying to sort through this, lah. That much stuff. Didn't we were going to put everything? Yeah, I know. Uh, that's why I've been down the estate agent. What? Yeah, what do you think of that? What is it? And I'm out, if you like it. What? I mean, well, I know we haven't discussed it or anything, but it just makes sense, doesn't it? I move out of the flat, moving here for a while, whilst we do it up. It won't take long. 
Don't you like it? Yeah. Yeah, of course I like it. Well, I haven't put an offer in or anything because I knew you'd want to talk about it first. I, I don't know whether I can move in with you, Nick. Well, why not? Just a big step. Well, I'm virtually living here already. Yeah, I know, but you, you're talking, you know, buying a house, moving in together. It's a major commitment. Well, isn't having a baby? Yeah, but... But what? It's just unexpected, that's all. Can I have a bit of time to think about it? So it's all right to have me hanging around looking after the kid, but I don't get more than the odd night out from you. Just forget it. Nick! Nick, don't walk off! Ali? <laughs> Julie Jackson from Barnsley. Sounds like he was up there at least once a week. <sighs> Literally. He took it to real. They stayed there. Where? That bed and breakfast we went to when we were kids. No. Some posh hotel must have cost a bomb. How could he? My mum said we had to save for months to afford those holidays. That was always the joke, wasn't it? When it was time for us to go home, she'd say, right, time to start saving again. We could have had loads more holidays if I had me for that cow. I wonder what else he spent his money on. Our money? Probably all the restaurants that we couldn't afford to go to. Do you know, they must have done the same things that we did together as a family. Same pubs, same beaches. It's all so weird. Might have had kids. Oh, God, you don't think you had kids ever, do you? I don't know. Do you think she knew about us? She must have done. Why? We didn't know about her. What's to say you didn't do exactly the same thing to her? So we might have half-brothers and sisters and knocking around Barnsley. Having the 17th? No, we can't have. He never got away with it. But he did, didn't he? And if he hadn't been killed, we wouldn't be in his mail and he'd still be going on today. Do you think he was going to leave me, Mum? Leave us? Yeah. He would have done it years ago. Not if he was a coward, he wouldn't. Yeah, but he wasn't a coward. I reckon he was. All that talk about how he would have battered that psycho. And then when he gets a chance, he ends up dead. What's that about, eh? He had loads of chances to finish it with that slag or tell us. But he never. That's why he's a coward. I feel like I don't know him anymore. Imagine how my mum would feel. Have you found something? Shut the door. What? It's been going on for years. How do you know? Emails. Loads of them in the trash. Talking about two years ago. They were even asked when we first moved here. I don't believe it. All those things he was saying. New house, new life. It was all bull. Look at this. She talks here about the good old days. I've really missed you, Alan. You spent so much time apart. It sounds like they split years ago and resurrected it. He was leading a double life. And Mum knew nothing about it. To think. All the weekend overtime, cover on the trucks. Last year when he was late for my mum's birthday. All lies. I just, I, I can't believe it. Even that Kevin Mallon knew. No. She worked on the bars, you said. To think he had the cheek to come round here with his minty little whip around. He must have done the same for her. That's if she knows he's dead. She'll know. It's the same company. I think she got more than 60 quid. He looked us in the eye knowing what he did and handed over that money. I feel like ringing her or emailing her or... That'll do you no good, because if we blow it all up, Mum will find out. What if she was at the funeral? But we met everyone. Shook hands. Don't say that. She might have been. Yeah, we don't know anything. And we're going to drive ourselves mad trying to work everything out, thinking about what else he's done. Ruth? Yeah? What are you doing? Um, Kirsty's just showing us something on the computer. You OK, Mum? Yeah, fine. Um, could you all come downstairs for a bit? I want to talk to you. Yeah? OK. I'll see you downstairs, then. Here you go, sis. Service with a smile again. Ta. What's that? Nothing. Are you looking for a house? No. Oh, so this is just a figment of my imagination, is it? Yeah, got it. Really? I'm supposed to buy jewel. Oh, Casey, that's fantastic. It's gorgeous. What am I going to do? What do you mean, what are you going to do? 
I can't move in with them. Next step will be marriage. Well, congratulations. I can't do it. Well, you're doing a pretty good job so far. Yeah, but it's just boyfriends and girlfriends stuff, though, isn't it? It's not for life. Well, I've already told a lie. I didn't. I just let him think it. Oh, it's the same thing. <sighs> Why didn't I tell him at the beginning? Eh, hey, because he would have run a mile. I wouldn't have been bothered then. I didn't care less six months ago. But you feel differently now. Well, look, there might still be a strong chance that the baby's his. A one in five chance. Well, look, imagine if you told him the truth and it turns out he was the dad. How would you feel then? I just want to be honest with him. Listen, Kate, if there's one thing I know inside out, it's men. They don't want honesty. They want to be lied to. And I'm telling you now, if you tell Nick the truth, you'll lose him. Is that what you want? No. Well, then why spoil things? Katie, you love him and you want to spend the rest of your life with him. And the only way you're going to do that is to tell him this is your dream house, he is your dream man, and he's the father of the baby. It's the only way you're going to live happily ever after. The last six months have been really hard for me. Losing your dad, not knowing what happened or how he died. And I know you think I'm not coping, but I am. I am. Life's going on. And I know Ali's birthday probably isn't the best day to bring this up, but well, maybe it is, I don't know. I, I want you to think about your dad. What he meant to you. What you loved about him. Places we used to go as a family. Because what I'd really like is for us all to get together and scatter his ashes somewhere special. What do you think? Um, I don't know. Have you got any suggestions? Oh, about Rill. Rill? Oh, that's a nice idea. We did used to go there every year. Anyone else? Ruth? How do you remember your dad? You don't want to know. You must have some special memories. Well, here you go. How about the three weeks that he didn't speak to me because I was carrying on behind my husband's back? What? Yeah, when I got battered for losing my new trainers. Hey, I've got one. Christmas 1992 by two in the afternoon and then slept right through your Christmas dinner. What are you talking about? He wasn't perfect, Mum. Stop it. You've got to forget about him and move on. I said stop it! What's got into you? We... we just don't think the ashes thing is a good idea. Right. Well, fine. I'll bear that in mind. Mum. Just leave me alone! Oh, yeah? All right. How's work? Busy? Same as every other day. I, um, <sighs> I phoned the bank this afternoon. What for? To see how much the lenders have we went for this house. You what? I'm sorry for being such a cow before. Do you mean it? Yeah. So we're going like, to move in? We haven't even put an offer in yet. <laughs> okay. Watch the baby. <sighs> I can't believe it. I thought that was it. I thought you was blowing me out. <laughs> I am going to make you so happy. Just you, me, and our little baby. <laughs> I vote we get rid of them. So do I. Someone won't think he was Saint Alan. If that's what makes her happy, yeah? Well, that's it then. If we do get rid of them, we make a pact never to mention them again. No way. Ali, shut up. Listen, people are going to start arriving for the party in a minute. Stu, what do you reckon? It's two to one, so you get the casting vote. I don't know. I mean... I don't see why I should get away with it, but seeing my mum down there like that... Yeah, I'll vote we get rid. OK. Come on, let's get busy.
Might as well show our faces, do the labelly thing. What are you up to? Nothing. Uh, one of the photos had come off. <sighs> Might be the last party I go to ever. Rubbish. Our lives going to be one long party. Oh, yeah. He's got the sleepless night without the ale, the dancing and the laughs. Motherhood doesn't stop you having fun. You're a bit overdressed for a kid's party. Thought to make a bit of an effort for a change. Ooh. <laughs> stop it. Do you know what the word secret means? Don't you mean affair? It isn't. So why is it a secret then? I'll talk to Luke in. You off to work? Yeah. What are you doing out here? You've got guests. We're just having a few moments about my dad. Right. About what would say to him if he was still here? What would you say? Thanks, Dad. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for being such a great loving family man. Leave it, eh? Happy birthday, Ali. Yeah. <gasps> nice one. Ah, well, thanks, Steve. You got you the deal. Oh, nice one, Steve. And no props. 80,000 on the clock. That's average for the Reds. Oh, it's the best presents ever. I tell you, the best you showed. <laughs> yeah, you got change as well, mate. Oh, brilliant. Nice one. Can you keep an eye on Luke for us? Will do. Oh, can you take it out now? Behave. No way. No chance, oh, kid. Oh, it's my birthday. Uh, a, you're over the limit. B, you can't drive. And C, you're a myth. You coming in for a drink? Yeah, I will do, great. Are you coming in? I could use some other company. What's up? You don't know, eh? Well, I've got broad shoulders, Sammy. Ooh, Ali G on the wheels. I see the birds come flocking. <laughs> hey, what you reckon the uh, suspension's like in the back? <laughs> Ooh, Operation XV. Ooh, don't come knocking if the cars are rocking. <laughs> come on, your birthday bell. Let's forget about the hard pairs of the night and get that party started. <laughs> Well, cool. Shame you can't use them. Stuart! Yeah! Oh, what he can't do with those hands. We know what he can't do, full stop. Ah! Oh, so you've boy even got your kegs off. Shut it! No Shannon the Minga string in here tonight, then. Mm, she must be out on an early night. Ali! Stuart, will you turn it down? Luke's asleep. So you're not out then? In that house, isn't it? <laughs> what are the rules of Operation XV? What the rules are? There ain't no rules. Except coughing up 100 quid to the winner. How much? Well, I think I'll just judge it. So, you're out then? We're well, talking five lots of wages from your lousy Saturday job. Right, and you've got to have evidence. What, like a text or something from the bed saying you've done it? Too easy to cheat. You could just nick a phone and pretend to be here. Ah, uh, yeah. <gasps> That's the evidence you've got to have. Too easy to cheat and all. Single handedly. <laughs> you blurred for protection, yeah? It just doesn't seem right with your, with your mum hanging around and, and your dad. Yeah, well, that's another thing as well. No family. Your mum? Behave. You mean your sisters? Oh, no, Ruth and Kirsty sandwich then. I mean it. So you haven't laid him to rest then, yeah? No. We're having a ceremony in real. But we used to go on family holidays when you were a kid, isn't it, Kirsty? Great times. Can stop losing your dad. Me and our Sammy know about that. Life goes on. Oh, you never forget, though, do you? No. I'll forgive. She means the circumstances in which he died. So, uh, you don't fancy a burial, then? Kirsty! No, right. Family do, eh? You always bring it home to you, don't you? How much you miss them. What would they be doing or saying if they were here? I'm glad he's not here. You get angry and all for them leaving you behind. I mean it. I hate it. You don't mean that. <laughs> if Diane cheated on your dad and you found out you'd feel the same way, trust me. Oh, he didn't, did he? There's some tramp on the drugs called Julie. How do you know? It's all the emails. Does your mum know? Look, you can't trust second-hand info, and maybe if it was true, it was just a one-off. On and off. They write like rabbits. You know, you expect all fellas to be like that. Except your dad. Um, Mums do it too. But marriages survive, don't they? Sometimes they're stronger for it. If your dad was here and it all came out and he was sorry, you know, really sorry, do you find enough time to get over it? It's just... It's just unlucky that you haven't got that time. I wouldn't listen to him. Why'd you say that now, but... I'd say he wasn't my dad. 
Well, look at my dad, back with my mum after everything they've been through after all these years. Your mum and dad will be just as solid, I'm sure. And emails. <laughs> you can't trust them. I don't even know the half of them. And I don't want to. Come on. Don't let his stupid mistakes ruin all your memories of him. You sold him. Yeah, I'll leave off, eh? No, you leave off. He's got no right knowing. I'll get lost, will you? I can only turn to you for support, can I? I can't live the lie anymore. What? But he's sorted. You're getting a house together, and that's that. I mean, you've only just made your mind up. He's taking the knee. Setting up happy families when the family might not be his. He's too good to be taken for a ride. Yeah, but what was I telling you this morning? There's still a one in five chance that you are telling the truth. Better to own up now. But you love him. Well, God knows it's taken you long enough to realise that. And he loves you, so it couldn't be better. If he loves me, then, you'll understand it. No. He'll be packing his bags quicker than you can say single mother. Soon, yeah. I've got to. Well, I won't be here to pick up the miserable pieces. You know, you've been a sad case for too long now. Do you know what your problem is? You're not happy unless you're unhappy. Something wrong? Yeah, shrunken brain. Leave it, Sammy. I saw your glasses half empty. No, that's Katie. Always sees the negative. Do you want to sit down? Oh, I'm fine. You're always fussing. Do you want to go out? Yeah, I know. I just have to be so nice. Hormones. Well, see, you're being a bit more helpful than you were yesterday. Hey. Well, you didn't lift a finger to help me move in. I don't know if it was today, no problem. Yeah, tonight, you mean. I'm over the roof, you know. Definitely. She's Luke's mum, that's as far as it goes. It... It's taken me ages to realise that. Well, it's taken you for me to realise that. And I'm not being heavy or nothing, but... I'm dying to kiss you again. I was just thinking the same thing. Annie! It's all right, Debbie. What's all that about? She hit me wrong, OK? Yeah, well, it's your birthday, so just calm down, all right? I'm gonna go and check on Luke. Hi, hi. Fancy a dance? Ain't no talk. Well, uh, how about a request? Look, lads, I'm flattered, but I'm sure you can find a girl who can still pass the pencil test. Nick, I need to tell you something. Well, go on, then. Not here. Can we go home? I don't believe this. Where's Shorty? Should we keep this under control? He's got upstairs, huh? <laughs> Stu, turn it down! No! I said! What's Mum playing at? What are you two doing? Just checking in on Luke. No, what are you two doing? Enjoying each other's company. I can see that. I think I'm going to call it a night anyway. Yeah, not because of Ruth, I hope. How long has this been going on for? I'm sorry, but this is none of your business. How long? Not long. Behind my back? Look, Ruth, I'm sorry. I didn't want to make you feel old. We're free agents, aren't we? Well, yeah, but... You've got no right looking in on Luke. Why? Because he's got nothing to do with you. I checked in on Luke. Nicky was with me. What's the problem? Nicky's not trying to take over like Dan was. And you, telling me you were single, lying through your teeth to me you were. Hey, leave off. She's done nothing wrong. Ali, son's bag, Nicky. Oh, nice one. Look, oh, Ruth, I'm sorry. I never meant to make you feel awkward. Neither of us did. Back of the net. Oh, Sean and Nicky. That was brilliant, Tomo. One of the best I've ever had.
newbie. Educating the youth of today. In what? You haven't. It's only just out of short trousers. You get locked up for that. We loved it. I know you were desperate, but please. Well, how did you manage that? Do I have to go into the finer details? Look. Yeah? Yeah! Yeah. Women's first. Oh, I was only joking about that. Mm -hmm. I've my dad. He wouldn't have minded. Ah. I'll only take what I rightfully want. It's about time your friends left. What's dad doing on the turntable? Most of these are my dad's. I wonder if any of them wears in Julie's tunes. But this one isn't. Do you know, I can't even look at a photo of him. I just see this different man staring back at me. This one by my bed, and it was all fake. He was knocking her off when I was free. He must have hated me. Kirsty, he never hated you. He just. Look, no one could eat you. You're great, a right little smasher. I mean, bad taste and footy like, but you've got to have one floor. Else you'd be perfect. Come on, wait a minute, something's wrong. What? You look different. Why? Ah, you're smiling. I can't handle it. No. Something's wrong. What? You'll have to do it again. <laughs> Operation XV dictates that the X Virgin must have evidence. Oh, looks like there might be another prize winner tonight. <gasps> Get off my sister! <laughs> Had it rough, haven't we all? I got you the deal for this car. Spent all day helping it out, and this is how you repay me. Get in the house now! He's not going anywhere. Well, what are you going to do? I said, leave it. Oh, do you want to sort it out then? Stop it! Stop it! You didn't mean it! Come on, he's upset. He just lost his dad. And I've lost my livelihood. You're going to pay for it. He's not insured. I don't care. I want the money. Yeah. Kill Walla. That's what nearly going to cover the damage. Oh, show me, Carl, then. You can have all the money I've got. I don't care. What's your dad's money? I'm so sorry, sir. You're not as sorry as I am. I did you a favour there, mate. Look at it! Steve! Shove it! You don't need to let's test him. You're all right. You shouldn't have got in the car. Oh, don't you start. You know he's not mature enough. I'm coming around here playing dad. This is your fault. Oh, that's right, Ruth. Yeah, everything's my fault, isn't it? Everything and everybody else is to blame for your messed up life. Can't you bear to see me getting on? This isn't about Nikki. I deserve some happiness. She makes me happy. You're out my life now, Ruth, and you know what? Never been better. Don't you ever step in for me again. What I went through in that siege alley is far worse than you'll ever go through. You couldn't help me then, and you never will. And you're acting like a little... Why can't you keep it together, Ali? Why do you have to keep letting me down again and again? Two and a half grand's worth of kit. What are you doing? It's a look, Larry. Where's me dad? Last year got locked over, didn't it? No one was smoking. I don't believe this. Can today get any worse? I'm sure we can get him out. Just go, Tommy, will you? I'm sorry. That's your answer to everything, isn't it? Walking away. Well, you're not going anywhere. I'm not staying either. Ali! You're paying for the damage as well, you know. On your own birthday. Look how many people you've upset. I was right about the party. I was right about the car. But I let you have them both. I keep giving you chances because I feel sorry for you. For all of you. And none of you have got any respect left for me or your dad. No, oh, keep your sorries for yourself. You'll need them. Yeah, having a son like you. And yeah, I don't respect me dad. I don't respect you for getting conned by you. What? Ali? You was bad at each other. The stupid wife at home while he was getting his leg over. Me dad had an affair. All right. 
Well, that straight you up. How do you know? All stuff we checked out. Some talk called Julie Jackson. What do you all know? We didn't want you to find out. I didn't want you to find out either. You knew about it? Yeah. Since when? Since I put a stop to it. I made him give up driving the trucks. It was too easy for him to say he was working away. I made him take a manager's job instead. Don't think badly of him. I forgave him and so should you. I mean, don't get me wrong, it took years till we were back on track, till I could finally trust him again. The arguments we used to have when you lot were in bed, the times I threw Julie Jackson at him. But we got over it. I got over her. Oh, don't let this change the way you think about your dad. The damage is already done. When did you find out? Yesterday. What was the old stuff you found? Emails. I was closing them down. From who? His old mates. There was no such thing as emails when this was going on. No. What? What old mates? Not from her. Tell me! And once he sent to her, it started up again. When? There were even ones sent the day before he went missing. No. It was going on right underneath your nose and you didn't even spot it. None of us did. Can't have. He didn't love you, Mum. And he never loved us. It's not true. We've seen the proof. He wasn't seeing her again. Why do you think he was never here, Mum? Why all the overtime? Why did you let him get away with it? Why are you turning this on me? Why were you so weak? Letting him back into our lives after you'd done the affair? Wanted to make it work. You were giving him the go-ahead to go and do exactly what he wanted. Treating you like a doormat. You allowed to be second best to some other woman. I didn't want you growing up without a dad. I kept it together for you. It's called putting your kids first. Something you know nothing about. Me? Not one of you considers another person before yourself. I always put Luke before me. Oh, yeah. That's why you spent his inheritance money on clothes for yourself. My inheritance? There you go. What? When you have kids, you put them first. I put you all way above my marriage. Is my this, my that. You're so self-obsessed, Ruth. So full of your own petty problems. It's Dan this and Sean that. When are you going to take responsibility for your own life and stop burdening me? I'm trying. Well, not hard enough. You had a marriage with Sean. You should have made it work. If you hadn't had an affair, then Luke wouldn't have been in danger. You call that putting your kid first. I wasn't happy with Sean. And I wasn't happy with Alan for a long time. But I stuck at it. And vice versa. Or he wouldn't have strayed again. Ruth! Don't blame me for the way it turned out. Blame Dad. That's where I get it from. I always had to get off with a teenager for. <laughs> oh, behave. Them lads had a bet on. I'm getting 50 quid for coughing on that me and Tomo did the business. So you never? What do you take me for? Hey, uh, not a bad exchange for a pair of knickers, though. <laughs> Sammy. <laughs> Sammy, are you going to bed or what? Because we need a bit of privacy. Oh, hey, Kate, I meant to ask you. When did you stick that up? What? Yes. I've arrived. I am on the love wall. Night. <laughs> You've been giving me confusing signals all day. Nerves about moving to the new home, having a go, then up for it. And you're telling me I love me? You're a tricky one, you. Yeah, I'm all over the place. So what's on your mind? I want you to be the father of this baby. <laughs> you got no choice. You have. Well, how do you mean? You could walk away at any time. Well, I won't. You might. You might when the baby comes in it. What? When the baby comes. Katie, I don't know how you've been treated by fellas in the past, but you don't have to think the worst. I'm not going to do a runner. The thought of being a dad, it doesn't scare me in the least. If truth be known, the baby's cemented how I really feel about you. I can't wait for it to come. I can't wait for this fantastic new life that we're going to have. The three of us. Can you accept that? Can you accept me? Whatever I'm like, whatever I've done. You're hard work, you. 
I was going to give you this this morning, but you were so busy flapping about moving on. I was going to get you a ring, but I knew you wouldn't have gone for it. It's just a little bit of something to say. I don't know, just to say that I'm here for you. And yes, I'll put up with you, whatever you've done, if I have to. Say it. Say it, go on. Yeah. Say it! All right, I get the points. I'm sort of nearly running over everything. Oh, now you're making me sound petty. You just think that you can bully me and scare me into doing what you want? I had everything to look forward to, and it's all gone. It's all because yeah. get your hands off her! That next Brookside is next Saturday morning at 10 past 11. Next today, John Gregson seeks redemption after nearly killing a fellow pilot in the Battle of Britain film Angels 1-5.